There are 81 reasons to fall in love with Turkey and number 11 is Bilecik. Look, there's a place in Turkey, nobody knows if this place actually exists. It's like Bielefeld in Germany and I'm on a mission to find out if this place is real or not. Oh my god, it is real! Bilecik, gerçek yani, gerçek that Bilecik war, oh my god! <laughs> It's real! I'm in Bilecik! Bilecek, a place in Turkey that is far from being the center of attention. But what if I told you that it all started here? Ertuğrul, this guy, he used to live here 800 years ago. Ertuğrul was the head of a nomad Kaya tribe and also the father of Osman, who was the Ottoman Empire first sultan. And it was right here in Bilecek where Ertuğrul started an empire that lasted over 600 years. Let's take a look at this map. As you can see, Osman I started building the beginning of the Ottoman Empire around Söd in Bilecik, which was a very important location from a military point of view as well, because it was at the main road between Constantinople and Konya. When in Bilecik, you will also come across many Kaya tribe flags, as Osman I was also the leader of the Kaya tribe, which was basically the foundation for the Ottoman Empire. And all of that happened over 700 years ago in the 13th century. Wow, Bilecik, what a history it has! And one of the great places to visit is actually the Ertuğrul Tom. I personally have never watched the Ertuğrul TV series, but I know it's so popular and famous in Turkey. It's not possible to go inside the tomb, but around here, around the tomb, there are actually some souvenir shops. Ne kadar? 50 lira. Güzel mi? Aynen. <gülüyor> Güzel değil mi? Evet. Tamam, alıyorum. Tamam. <gülüyor> Bu Bilmek istiyorum. Kayı boyu ne? E, kayı boyu e, Oğuzlar boyunun bir ailesinden gelen bir aile Osmanlı'nın okçu birliktir kendileri kayı boyu birliği. Aynı dönemde Ertuğrul Gazi e, Süleyman Şah'la başlar. Daha sonrasında Osman Gazi ile devam ediyor. Bu topraklarda yaşamışlar. Tamam çok teşekkürler. Tamam, teşekkür ederim. Bu kadar. So here is the Mesjid, Ertuğrul Gazi Mesjidi. And here we can see the flag of the Kaya tribe and the Turkish flag. In Bilecik, I'm going to put Liban to the test, to the real test for the first time. I'm going to Haman Köyü, Haman Köyü Kanyonu which is a canyon like one or two hours away from Süd where I'm right now and it's a long way without gas stations I guess uh, it's going to be a steep way so I hope Limon can do it Kilometers. <gasps> it's for 
four kilometers and now there is a river. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. I came all the way for this. Really? I don't know if I can do it. Am I supposed to do it is the other question. I mean, what would another car do? I'm scared. My heart, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I can't believe it. Okay, here is the entrance. Oh my god. Hauman Kaya Kanyono Kaviat Park. Ta da! Took E. No shadow anywhere. So here we can see the magnificent canyon. The Harman Kaya Canyon, a three kilometer long, impressive canyon that is hiding all its beauty inside with hidden caves and waterfalls. But as beautiful as it looks, you shouldn't forget that it's also a wild place. The canyon is actually very dangerous, which means that you shouldn't go in there if you are unexperienced or you don't have the right equipment. It's just for professionals. So I brought all my stuff. It's such a good idea, but who cares? It's just so hot, but it's not crowded at all, so I'll just go a little bit. I just need some shadow. It feels so good. Oh, oh. I don't want to fall down. It's just super nice. So I walked like 10 minutes into the canyon and it's so hot i feel like i want to take a bath <gasps> you can go a few minutes into the canyon but i wouldn't go further than five minutes because it can get really dangerous is actually super close to Karahasanla village and from there you will easily find it. You might cross some rivers to get here but it is definitely worth it. And this is in Vilejik. <gasps> Today is Bayram and to celebrate this day I'm going to cook myself some noodles. Wish that I could stay. Wish for mm, this moment to be delicious. never go away. But it's all in my mind And though I know that there is nothing to find I really enjoy being alone But sometimes I also wish I had someone I could share these moments with And... I don't know I'm super happy, I enjoy this moment But I still wish I had someone I could share this moment with See how you roam While you roam in the streets all alone We're going to put the sauce Bumbu and chili sauce I'm just going to put the bumbu sauce I don't know what bumbu means But we're gonna find out in the sun 
back to business. We gotta heat this up a little bit more. Oh, now comes the good part. Ah, enjoying and just eating. It's good. I did a good job. Wow, mashallah. Mashallah. E bayramla, everyone. It's definitely worth it. It's so beautiful, but I would try to come not on weekends because I am sure this will get really crowded here. You're beautiful, sad in the summer night. So I'm in Bilidic city right now. I'm going to explore this cute small city. It's not that big so it's really easy to reach everything by walk. And my first destination is going to be a park actually. So this is a park. It's like the city park of Bilidic. It's quite modern. This year is the Boss Aya. Kafkaisia ve Orta Asia Gibi. Genish Bir Chografiada Yashamene Suduru. Aha! Wow, so in this park you can actually learn about animals. And here you can see. Here's the Tilki. Yaigen Alarak Tilki Ismele Anelan Jande Türe Vulpes Vulpes Janikisle Tilki Dir. The city is actually very green, very clean, with beautiful views like this one. From a foreigner point of view, I had absolutely no expectations about Bilecik. Why? Because I had never heard of it before. But if there's one place that surprised me with its hidden nature and taught me about the importance of history, then it's Bilecik. Over there we have the tomb of Sheikh Ilbali. Ilbali. We're going there now. walk from the city center to the Sheikh Edebali tomb took me around 15 minutes and I was so surprised because there's not only the tomb here but also an open-air museum there's a mosque and other places that you can visit so here we have Osmanle Padish Padishalare Tari Sheridi huh So here we see Osman Ghazi, the founder of the Ottoman dynasty. So this open air museum actually gives you a really good overview about all the leaders of the Ottoman Empire and about the historical places. I feel a little bit uncomfortable <laughs> because I'm wearing a dress and all my other stuff are super dirty because I was hiking yesterday. I don't know what to do. like. Should I not visit the place or should I visit the place and feel uncomfortable? I don't want to be disrespectful. I'm not going anywhere inside. I'm just looking from the outside. But yeah, I'm the only person in a dress here. Ah, pardon. Bishay sora biliyor muyum? Elbise ile gidebiliyor muyum? Gelebilirsin. Tamam, So this is the place for the wife and the daughter. Bilicik is a place that is made fun of because it doesn't exist. But actually we just need to open our history books to understand that Bilicik was very important for the existence of the Ottoman Empire. And I believe that even today, 800 years later, Bilicik is much more than just a place that doesn't exist. That's it from Bilecik, see you next time.